my god. Like the whole thing just came out. <laughs> Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you the biggest plant mail fail that I have ever had. And I'm also gonna show you how I am trying to save that plant. Let's get into the plant unboxing. Hi everyone, it's currently 9.44 p.m. and I just decided to go get the mail. <laughs> so I didn't know this was gonna get delivered today, but my husband got me something for our anniversary. Yeah, let's go ahead and open it. <laughs> Cause what else would I do at 9.44 p.m. on a Thursday night? It's really light, this box is super light. Okay, let's see. Wait a second. Uh, are there two of them? All right, please be okay. What do you think it is? It is wrapped like this. It's like a damp paper towel. Vezies. Oh my God. That cannot be good. Oh no. Like the whole thing just came out. This whole thing just, oh my God. Holy mo, this whole thing, oh my God. Cause it's wet, I think it just, no. This is supposed to be a silver glory string of hearts. And the whole thing just completely snapped off. Here's what's left of it. This part is mushy. That's not good. Um, there's a second one. Let's hope this goes a little better. I don't know if it's the same thing or not. And then, okay, so this doesn't look like it's gonna snap off. Some yellow leaves. But... Are you... Are you for real? Like, I didn't even touch that. Oh, that's mushy. That is not good. What in the world? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen such a fail. I filmed so many unboxings, but like this was pretty terrible. No. Okay, well, they were silver glory string of hearts and um, I don't think my husband's gonna be so happy when he sees what happened to them. So this is literally like the whole thing for both of them, just freaking snap off. Like what the, what the heck? But hopefully we can contact the seller because like this is kind of ridiculous. This is from eBay, I believe. I personally have never purchased a plant from eBay because I've always been kind of skeptical. This kind of confirms my skepticism. <laughs> I normally just purchase online from plant shops or Etsy I've had success with if I follow them on Instagram. That one leaf that hung on is mush. Oh, there you go, see? It was like not even really attached. Oh my gosh. Is this how people feel when they order things from like Thailand? This was not even from Thailand, this is from the States. Let's see what's under here. Why is there a LECA in here? Why would you put LECA in here? There's like soil and then like a few pieces of LECA. Look at that, that's all that's left of it. It's like dead. This is dead. No hope for this, dude. You know I love LECA, but what the heck? If it was grown inside my hydroponics alone without soil, then yeah, LECA would be fine. But why is there LECA on top of soil just for that one? And check this out. Okay, so this one is still in there somehow, kind of. So that one is barely hanging on. You can see over here is mush. So we got that and this. I can try to propagate these last pieces, but my husband better get some money back because this is ridiculous. This is not cool. This is disappointing. 
I've been wanting this plant for so long too. And I also sound really low energy. It's a combination of being tired and uh, the disappointment. I just sent a bunch of photos to my husband. He's currently at work. Um, I don't know what he's gonna say, but you know, I'm gonna try to save these pieces, but he better get some sort of a refund. Like, mm -mm. no, just no. <laughs> try to propagate those in a second hang on to what's left of this thing i'm gonna get ready for bed because i have work tomorrow um i will check back in with the rest of this video so this is how i am trying to save like the parts that came completely off of it i chopped up some of the pieces and made sure it had a note in it. I stuck it in some sphagnum moss. Yeah, it's also in a plastic bag that I am reusing to try to hold in some moisture, I guess, because I'm propagating. And it's right by this window that gets a good amount of light. I'll show you updates of either growth or, you know, it dying, but we'll see. This is what's left of the other one. It's pretty sad, but you know, I'm just leaving this by the window. So it's a week later since I received this failed plant. There's not that much to update you on. I still have it in this bag. And this right here is just the saucer. It's a plastic saucer from one of my other pots. I'll check it out. Here it is, pretty much looks the same. I try to keep it moist by just spraying it with just plain water. Yeah, I have it right by the window. Hopefully I'm able to salvage some of these pieces. That other clip that you saw of me finding random Lekka pieces, it was in the other one that had like basically completely died. They had a little nub that was dead. But this one, so I wanted to check the moisture meter and I was sticking it down there and I was like pulling up pieces of Lekka. And obviously I do some hydroponics, so I do love Lekka, but not with soil. Some people do use LECA with soil to keep their plant more moist. Like if it was a plant that really needed a lot of moisture, but that's not something that I would ever do for a drought tolerant plant like this, even if it was going through shipping. I've received a string of hearts through shipping before. You don't have to do that. But the good news is that my husband actually got a refund on it, which I'm really happy about because yeah, he paid a lot for it. I wouldn't have paid that much for it because, I mean, this is what's left of it. Yeah, I think this part will live. I don't know so much about this part that I'm trying to propagate, but, you know, we're trying. I will update you in future videos. I'm currently just going through all of my weekend plant care routine. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.